The Persona 5 Royale collab might be the most hated event of all Alchemy Stars history. I would say it even rivaled the Bethlehem nerfs. However, similar to Bethlehem, the Persona 5 Royale, which I refer to P5R from now on, is not as bad as people think. Before we get into why the P5R is good, why I raised Joker to max level, or why you should consider summoning for this banner, we first need to understand this. This button is the sole reason why P5R is so underrated, and I don't blame you all. Todorok didn't really do a good job explaining what this button even do, after all. P5R Special Skill, also known as All Attack, is a skill that comes with the P5R unit. This skill will deal 350% non-elemental damage to all enemies based on the attack of P5R members with the highest attack. For example, you have Joker and Violet on your team. Joker has 3,632 attack and Violet has 2,624 attack. Even though you're using Violet, as the captain playing the violet animation, you are still using Joker attack value as your all attack damage. This is also the reason why I have raised Joker to max level. Out of all the five members, Joker has the highest attack ceiling and he is very important member of the team. Of course, that is not all. Each P5R members have their own way of exploit weakness, which is a mechanic that boosts the damage of all attack. Each stack of exploit weakness the enemy has will increase the damage of all attack by 1%. Hence, if the enemy have 45 exploit weakness stack, your all attack will do 350% plus 45%, which is 395% damage. At 100 stack, enemy will also gain a weak status. Enemy with weak status will receive 2 times more damage from all attack. In short, 350 plus 100 and then multiply by 2, which is 900%. You might be thinking, oh, it's not too impressive actually. It's only 350% damage and sometimes 900 if the enemy is weak. That's almost like Brock damage and Brock can also aggro enemies. Well, you would be right if I haven't told you about the P5R unique multiplier. For each P5R member in your team, all attack will deal 60% more damage. I have compiled the damage of all attack with 1 to 5 P5R members as shown on the screen right now. As you can see, you can deal up to 1530% damage to all enemies and for enemy weak weak status, that's 3060%. And this is a skill with only 3 cooldown. There is absolutely no skill that can rival the skill damage. But guess what? That is not all. All attack also have another multiplier that we have never seen before. Power adjustment. It will deal more damage depending on the size of the enemy. For 2x2 enemy, all attack will deal 2.3 times more damage. For 3x3 enemy, all attack will deal 3.7 times more damage. As you can see, the damage you can deal to a 3x3 enemy is almost uncanny. Now that you know the potential damage of 5 P5R members, should you go all out and use all 5 members? Actually, it depends. You definitely don't need all 5 members to consistently achieve weak status. In fact, as long as you have Joker, Violet, and Mona, you can get weak status pretty consistently. In my opinion, Luqua with 4 P5R members are way better in terms of damage. Luqua equipment will allow her to apply Mortality Mark, which increases skill damage taken by enemy up to 70%. You can refer to the math for the damage difference. If you prefer having a healer, you can also drop 1 P5R member. In my opinion, Joker is mandatory, Box and Break to Zero Queen are droppable. So I'm sure you're surprised by this number here. It definitely surprised me at least. But does this mean they are OP now? Well, not really, since in order for you to have high all out attack damage, you are sacrificing using a mono team with converters, which is still the best way to play the game currently. You can get Aurora time easily, plus, honestly, the damage you get from normal attack and chain combo still exceed the numbers here. However, I think a lot of people forget that there are actually content that discourage using your classic mono team. For example, how lock boss, or enemy with normal attack resistance, or enemy with chain combo resistance. For that reason alone, P5R actually is still pretty useful and maybe even meta in some very niche scenario. So far, I have been talking about the power of using P5R members together, but what about using them in a mono team as a DPS slot? To be fair, some units are actually not bad. Joker, for example, have a one-turn cooldown nuke that scales based on the tile of the enemy, 
similar to all attack. Not to mention, he also have really good range with his chain combo. Although I wouldn't use him for the hardest content, he on his own is still a pretty decent sniper. I will give him 7 out of 10. Queen as a Thunder Detonator is actually not bad either. Her equipment allow her to deal pretty good damage. Having active skill and all attack as the mob clearer can be useful sometimes. I would give Queen 7.5 out of 10. Probably just slightly worse than Requiem. Box is actually a pretty good budget water captain because of his equipment. Turns out, triple damage once every turn is no joke. However, we all know how fierce the competition for water detonator are. With Azure, Battle, Sharona, and Regal being in the game, Fox still need a little bit more to be better than them. But overall, still pretty solid for especially a 5 star. 7 out of 10. Violet honestly doesn't have a lot to offer except being an exploit weakness generator. Her damage aren't great and column chain still pretty difficult to utilize perfectly. Her equipment looks strong on paper but usually only used to buff the all attack. For that reason, Violet is 5 out of 10 for a model team, would not recommend. Mona is pretty much the same situation with Violet. He is an exploit weakness generator. Generally, they are better sniper to use, such as Paloma, Megar, or Mythos. 5.5 out of 10. Now that we explained so much, in the end, should you summon? In my opinion, if you are a big fan of Persona 5 Royale, you should probably summon regardless of what I say. If you don't know much about the series just like me, I would say this banner is still pretty good. The P5R team is an alternative playstyle that is different from your classic model team, which utilize at least two tiles converters. We don't know what Tordog have in plan for us in the future. They might release content in the future that bans converters or heavily promote content that use a Rambo element team. For what it is, P5R is actually a pretty dang good Rambo team that actually works. And in terms of skill damage, they definitely have the higher end. I don't think any team out there can deal as much skill damage as the P5R team. And you know, when you encounter any boss such as Shelmer, which have a really high resistance to normal attack, sometimes you really just want to use a skill damage team. And although there are other alternatives such as battle with like ability spam, I would say P5R is still really really strong and potentially can be very very OP in certain scenario where there are a lot of monsters that is immune to normal attack. I mean who knows, it's Twirdog, they can happen. If you are low on loom members, I would still probably skip this banner. Although they are good, their best use case is still niche at best. If you are a newer player, Looking to build a strong team first, small team is still what I suggest. Since not only they can be used for 99% of the content, you can also use them to climb Spire, which something P5R team cannot do. And if you really want to summon, I would say the upcoming Angel banner has a lot of good 5 star you can get. I mean, pretty much every single 5 star in that banner is good. And yeah, I would probably just summon on that banner and look for a couple 5 star, especially converters. And if you're lucky, you can get Michael, which is a really, really strong dungeon. Detonator. Overall, I would give this banner 8 out of 10. Definitely not as bad as people think it is, although the skill design of the characters aren't the most interesting. I would say the delete all button definitely makes up for it. To end the video, I have a showcase of the P5R team fighting against the Elysium Battlezone Despair. This is one of the best use cases for P5R team since the boss is big. It is also highly resistant to normal attack. So your normal model team is not very effective here. So yeah, enjoy the video and I'll see you all next time. Peace.
上の力